Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print-on-demand everything, including how to create unique designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I wanted to show you another um, cool cross niche that you can do for Halloween. This is, again, this is gonna be teachers and Halloween. So lots of cross niches out there. This design, really fast, really simple, really easy. So if you'd like to learn how to uh, make this design, go ahead and stick around. So we are back on Canva's homepage here, and I am gonna go ahead and just start with a custom size. So on the right-hand side of the page, I'm gonna hit custom size. I'm gonna select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, and it's gonna pull up a blank page for me. I am gonna be designing for black, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on my uh, blank canvas. I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner where it says background color, and I will select a black. Now, hopefully this is gonna be a shorter video because it is just a really simple niche. Um, but when we're looking at any kind of designs, whether it's for Halloween or Christmas, Thanksgiving, fall, any of those things, it's always a good idea to cross niche um, and be a niche down and be as specific as you can. So there are a lot of cross niches between uh, Halloween and teachers. And so I'm gonna do a specific one for Halloween and science teachers. Um, and so it is going to have a little bit of graphics, a little bit of text. And so we are gonna start by picking some graphics. I'm gonna put in the middle. Now this is gonna say science teachers love brains and it's gonna be a little zombie design. So I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side of my page. I'm gonna go up to where it says elements. And from here, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a search. Now I have an idea in my head of kind of the way I would like this to look. So my bottom layer, I'm gonna go ahead and have a little bit of a toxic. Um, symbol as a background here and i'm going to go ahead go to graphics and i'm looking for something simple just like this so that's actually perfect and then i'm going to go ahead and change that color something that's going to be a little bit bright i want it to stand out and be somewhat halloweeny so let's go ahead and say something like that and in fact i do think i want to make that an even brighter color so maybe something a little bit more and a little bit more onto the yellow side, maybe even more on the yellow side, something like that. We can always play with it a little bit afterwards, but there is my toxic symbol. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put some zombies in front of that. And so I'm just gonna go ahead, do a search for zombies. And there's all sorts of cool zombie designs. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and keep everything more silhouette style, but you can do however you want. I like these three right here. Whenever you got groupings of three, that usually looks pretty cool. And what I like about this one is that it's gonna allow me to change the colors of those zombies as well. So I'm gonna go with something that's gonna stand out, something that's gonna be a little bit brighter and different um, from other designs because you do want your design to be original. You want it to stand out. So let's go ahead and say, I'm gonna make these zombies a little bit different colors. So maybe I want, mm, I like that, that uh, light green, but I wanna add some purple. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna make the, the outside ones more purple and the inside one actually more this light green color that I like. So I'm gonna start by taking the middle color and I'm just gonna make it that light color. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this color and we're gonna go with more of a purple, something like that. And, you know, keep it more on the brighter side something that's gonna stand out a little bit more, make sure it stays in the purpley hues. So let's start with something like that. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my zombies are pretty centered in the page. And something like that looks pretty cool. And of course I do want a brain. And so I'm gonna go ahead, come up here with a uh, brain and see what I got for brains. Now there's a lot of cool brains. I'm looking for something that's gonna look like it goes with this design here. And 
Uh, so ideally I want something, again, more silhouette style and something where I can change the colors would be great too, unless I find one that is the colors that I want. And sometimes you might go backwards, you might find a brain that you want and then work with those colors because I can always change the colors of all of these designs too. So just make sure that in the end, everything is meshing. Now I do already know the brain that I want because I did search through here a while and so I know that it's down here a little bit. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling until I find it, but it did already have these colors that I liked. There it is, that one. Cause that one already had those nice purple and greenish colors. And so I was gonna do something like that, put the brain here sort of in the foreground. So they're going after the brains. So if I was to go with my green, for example, I can come up to where it says add a new color and I can use my little, um, little eyedropper feature. I can hover anywhere over the brain where it has that color that I want. So let's say I'm trying to match that the green color there and that's gonna match the green on the brain right there. I can do the same thing with the purple if I wanted to try to match a little bit better to the purple here. I can pick any of these purples and I'm gonna want it to be one of the lighter ones. And I could do something like that. And so that matches pretty well. I still, I wish I could make that a little bit lighter, but that works pretty well. Um, the, I do wanna change maybe the orange here. Maybe I want that to be more red. Let me play with this because I want everything to look pretty cohesive. So I'm liking that there a lot better. Now I'm gonna need some text. So I'm gonna pull up a text box by hitting T on my keyboard and I'm just gonna start with, um, I'm gonna do this in all caps too, science teachers, okay. And that will come up here. Or maybe I'm gonna make that a nice bright color. Maybe I'll go with that green because I do want it to stand out. One second. Okay, so I like that. Make that nice and big. And then I'm just gonna go ahead. Easy way to get another text box is just to hit Control D and duplicate the box you have because when you do that, it's gonna save the size, it's gonna save the font, it's gonna save the color. So that way I can just go then love brains, something like that. And now we can go ahead and pick some fun fonts. Um, because these are, you know, solid and bright, I'm looking for something Halloween-y, but I'm looking for something Halloween-y and also solid. So let's go ahead. I've got a lot of fun Halloween fonts that I like. You can also look up Halloween. So one that I do like to use that I got from Creative Fabrica is this gloomy uh, mummy regular, but again, you can use whatever Halloween style font you like or whatever you think looks good. So here's my science teachers. I'm gonna go ahead and curve that top one. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna go to effects. If I come down, I can get a little curve on that. And so it doesn't have to be too big just a little curve around the top there. And what I can also do that I think might look a little cool would be to add maybe a little bit of a shadow to that. So I can still go ahead and get my shadow feature on. I don't want any transparency or any blur, but let's go ahead maybe we put that or I can go with the purple. I like the purple there. And it's just pulling those colors in a little bit better. So that looks kind of cool. And then I can kind of do a similar thing down here, at least with the um, at least with the shadow feature. So I can put my love brains down here. Again, effects. I can do my shadow. I can do really quickly, get my little whoop, thing there. And that looks pretty cool. I can play with the offset too if I want. So offset less, offset more. So I can try to make them pretty similar too. So this one has an offset at 50. So I could come here and say, this one now also has an offset of 50. So they're pretty symmetrical. I'm okay, by the way, with the brain falling in here because this is really bright. So it actually pops pretty well on that brain. Matter of fact, I could even bring the brain down a little bit more. So it's a really intentional overlap there. And so that looks pretty cool. I think I'm gonna take this top one. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. So you can go up to where you see spacing and you can always change the letter and line spacing too. So I can add a little bit more space in between the letters if I want to. 
So something like that might make it a little bit easier to read. So I like that. Science teachers love brains. I can bring these, make these maybe a little bit smaller. Make sure that's centered. That way it's not quite cutting into that guy's head as much. And so that looks pretty cool. Maybe I even give that a little bit less of a curve. And so these are all just little things that you play with. Oops, I want to go to effects. Until you are sure that you have it just the way that you want it. So I just opened that curve up just a little bit. So oops, it didn't look so tight. And so that looks pretty cool right there. I do like that. If you wanted to, I'll show you a really cool technique. I can put a little shadow on these guys too. Uh, and to do that, all I would have to do is take them, hit Control D, so now I've got a duplicate copy. And what I could do is make these guys all black. So if I made both colors black, now I've got my black version and I'm just gonna send it backwards. So if you hit Control in your left bracket, and you might have to do it a couple times, it will send it to back and now I've got a little bit of a shadow. So it just makes them pop just a little bit on that orange. And of course you can offset it as much as you want. If you click on the top image and you use the arrows on your keyboard, that's the up, down, left, right arrows, you can move uh, any graphic one pixel at a time. So what I could do is just move it up maybe a couple of pixels and move it over to the left a couple of pixels. And what that's gonna do is just give me a little bit bigger of a shadow. And so that looks pretty cool there. Um, so I do like the way that that looks. It's a simple design. It was very fast and easy to make. And so you can make a lot of, you know, fun, cool designs pretty quickly. You just have to have an idea in your head of what you want. Um, and so that's just easy. So I can title this up here. It's already says science teacher, so I can put love brains. And that is just a cool Halloween zombie teacher style design. It's gonna stand out, it's bright, it's different. I'm gonna hit download, I'm gonna keep a transparent background, and it is now ready to go on a shirt, on a sticker, on a bag, on a mug, on whatever it is you wanna put it on. And then if you wanted to put it on multiple products and you just wanted to you know, change the size of it, you could do that too. So really easy once you have your design to just sort of resize it for different products. So that looks pretty cool. If you have any questions about this technique or, or any of this just in general, drop it in the comments section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well with all of your sales. I hope you guys have, uh, you know, been really pumping on all of the fourth quarter stuff. So, you know, already working, ugh, already working on Christmas and Halloween and Thanksgiving and fall designs and anything else that you want to throw in there. I will have more designs coming for some of the different um, niches going forward. So stick around and I hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.